comments to access at telus.net. We are not Shaw. All right. This is Access. I'm your co-host Jordan Tan, and with me today is Andrew Fiore, a documentary filmmaker whose most recent documentary is called Occupying Vancouver, uh, and it is on the subject of homelessness. They don't have no help for anybody on the street here. I'm institutionalized. I don't know where to go to get all this stuff done. The pressure and the feelings I get are just too much. They make me sick to my stomach. Now, if we're talking about depressions and everything else, that's depression. Not knowing whether you've got a roof over your head, um, not knowing, just not knowing. Andrew, thank you very much for being here with us. Could you tell us a little bit about this uh, most recent documentary and how it came to, uh, to, to, to be made? I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for inviting me. Um, so the film Occupying Vancouver, an insider's look at homelessness, is one of those films that basically the universe gave me. I didn't do anything. I just was available, I, pre I, I, I made myself available, and everything sort of fell into place. And interestingly, I started off making a documentary about SROs, single room occupancy hotels, in the downtown east side. The reason I did that was because I lived in SROs for a long time. Um, so I lived in about 70% of the SROs, and the, they are substandard, they are unfit, and they are basically designed for transitional housing. These are um, buildings that were built over 100 years ago uh, at a time when not every room had a washroom. And so um, the, the conditions are deplorable. So I wanted to make a film that said, you know, let's get rid of these SROs. Let's do something, a call to action. And interestingly, I put up postings for uh, people with, uh, that were currently living in SROs to share their stories with me. And so the first gentleman that uh, came my way uh, was living at a place called the Sheldon Hotel and he was at risk for homelessness because uh, they wanted to evict him. Mm -hmm. So interestingly, during the interview process, I was in touch with him, he became homeless. And so the shift of the film, the, 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 the focus of the film shifted. Mm -hmm. It went from being about SROs suddenly to being about homelessness. I thought to myself, I just got somebody becoming homeless on film. How does that happen? So I thought, this is an interesting cue. And so I rode with it. And interestingly, at the same time that this happened, the Occupy Vancouver movement was in full, full tilt. And so I decided to visit the art gallery. And in doing so, I met hundreds of individuals that were homeless. These are everyday people. We're not talking about people that are panhandling on the corner every day. We're talking about people that fell through the cracks. People that are either on disability, they may be on social assistance, they may be unemployed. These are every, you know regular people. And so suddenly, uh, like I said, a film about SROs went to being about homelessness. And the universe mm. gave me all these people. So mm. in essence, the film, I. Luckily, I was, luck I was able to follow six homeless individuals, but I feature three. And the three people I featured are a struggling actor, a single mother, and uh, an ex-con. So that's where the film begins. And this is not your first uh, documentary uh, surrounding uh, issues in the downtown east side. Could you tell us a little bit more about um, s sort of uh, uh, your other documentaries that you've made? and? and how they relate to the, the downtown east side. I applied for a grant in 2009. I received a small arts grant uh, from Vancouver Foundation. And I made a film, a little film, 25 minute film called Just You, Me and God, Recovery in the Downtown East Side. In this film, um, I interviewed two women that are living in the downtown east side but are managing to remain free of drugs. So that started it all. So two two women who who how did they how did they get how, how did that happen is it are they living there for the well I decided that um, I you know I kind of made it out of the downtown east side I was proud of that but I also was aware of the fact I wasn't the only one 
there were other people. Every time I'd go down there and revisit the downtown east side, people that I knew would come up to me and go, hey, look at you. You've gained weight. You look healthier. What happened? And so I would tell them, hey, I'm better now. I, I had you know, an issue with mental illness. And, I'm, you know, and I would notice other people that looked like they'd been through a lot and come through and recovered, but still lived down there. So I thought, this is exciting. I thought, this is an opportunity for me to show the world that people down here are not all scary and crazy and you know, gonna rob you and so on. There's good people down here. There are role models, people that are trying to do well. And so lucky for me, I found, uh, I, I, I heard about a woman named Tina who uh, went from becoming a prostitute to a paralegal. Mm -hmm. So she went back to school, educated herself, became a paralegal, and was working for, for a, a, a legal organization in the downtown east side. And I thought, what a, this is a great person to feature. So she let me into her life, I featured her. Mm -hmm. And then there was another woman, I thought, okay, she's, she had three years clean time, this woman. And then I wanted a woman that just started on her journey to recovery. So that's what I did. One woman is just starting on her recovery journey and another one has three years under her belt. And so that's what the movie's about. Okay, Andrew, we're running out of time uh, for this uh, show. Uh, if uh, viewers are interested in finding out more, is there a, a website or some resource they can, they can go to to uh, get more information, see the doc? find out how to see the documentaries? Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that we're doing is we're actually uh, putting on public screenings uh, now that we're getting a little more, uh, there's a little more demand to, be, to see the films. If anybody wants to preview the material and take a look at what I'm doing, they can go to www.healthchampionblogspot.com. Great. Uh, that has been uh, Andrew Fiore, uh, local documentary producer, and uh, we thank you for your time, Andrew. Thank you. Comments to access at tellus.net. We are not Shaw. All right.